You know what? I didn't think I would ever go out there and say this, but I'm going to go out there and say it. Because when it comes to recent New York Rangers call-up and heavyweight champion of the NHL, Matt Rempe, I think at this point, what we're seeing out of his game and his playstyle is that he's really becoming a problem. And I'm not saying that in a good way. Like, oh, this guy's so good, he's such a problem for the other team because he's so effective and he does his job well. No, not like that. I think the way Matt Rempe has developed over the past few games and weeks here, it's becoming really problematic. And it was exemplified even further today as the New York Rangers played off against the New York Devils. New York Devils, my goodness, I apologize. I, I, call me out, sorry. The New Jersey Devils, excuse me. Because as the Devils and the Rangers squared up, you had yourselves with 30 seconds to go in the second period, Matt Rempe getting a game misconduct for hitting defenseman Jonas Siegenthaler along the boards. And you can see the hit over here. Siegenthaler's trying to dump the puck in. Rempe comes in and he's got his elbow up. Gets Siegenthaler right in the jaw, it looks like. Siegenthaler drops to the ice. There's a little bit of a scrum that ensues. The other angle shows just more of the same over here. Rempe coming in, coming in, coming in. Oh, there's the high chicken wing elbow right on the jaw or the chin of Siegenthaler. And you know what? Bad hits happen all the time. Especially if you're Matt Rempe, you're six foot eight, 240 pounds. It's difficult to, you know... Keep your body lower when you're that tall. Sometimes you'll see guys like Tyler Myers or Zadorov or whatever get a penalty because they hit a guy and because they happen to be so much taller than the guy, they get him at an awkward angle and it becomes elbowing or something. It happens once in a while, right? But the thing with bad hits is, when you have a situation like this, where Rempe pretty much goes out there and clocks the guy in his lower face area and... Afterwards, during the ensuing scrum, while McDermott is going out there trying to get Rempe to fight and the referees are pulling Rempe away, you see Matt Rempe as he's skating off and getting removed from the playing surface, waving to the Devils and the players over there. All of a sudden, this entire thing is not, you know an admission of guilt or sorrow or whatever. It's, haha, bye bye, what are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna wave. I just delivered a big bad hit. Y'all are pissed off at me. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go out there and wave. That is more of the attitude and the intention being put out into the open with this hit. I feel like the wave and the, let's just say snarkiness that Matt Rempe was displaying as he was ejected out of the game was more of an indicator as to the intention behind the hit. There was some sort of a violent nature here. And ultimately, because Matt Rempe has gotten removed out of this game, he had all the five-minute majors for fighting earlier on, we saw his black eye, we saw this, we saw that. Ultimately, it's starting a bigger conversation as to whether or not Rempe's presence in the NHL is actually a good thing. Here's a comment made by Travis Green, new coach of the New Jersey Devils. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get used to saying that, man. Travis Green, eh? NHL head coach. Nice. This is what he said about Rempe's game misconduct for elbowing Siegenthaler. I think there's some intent there to injure the player. Call it predatorial or whatever you want to call it. It's definitely not the first time that it's happened and the second time against us. Then you also had Curtis McDermott going out there and talking about the same thing. This is what he said. He's a young kid in this league. He has a lot to learn still. You don't do things like that when you're in your first year in the league. I lost quite a bit of respect for him tonight. Now, when it comes to respect, we have seen some other guys around the NHL tossing that out there to Matt Rempe. Hey, he's a young dude. He knows what he has to do to stay in this lineup. He's 21 years old, 6'8", 240. He was never going to become a Ranger because he's so good at scoring points. He was never really that kind of a guy. But... He was drafted by New York for a reason, he was brought into the AHL for a reason, and he was called up to the NHL and stayed around for a reason. This guy is a physical presence and he makes the opposition's lives difficult. We have seen other NHLers going out there and paying respects to that. But that was all before stuff like this, where you see bad hits and people going out of their way to wave whilst being tossed out of the game, ensuing some sort of a conflict there. 
So Curtis McDermott saying, yeah, I lost quite a bit of respect for him tonight with the bad hit. This is what Jeff Fayette went out there and said about this entire situation, quote tweeting the five minutes for elbowing and game misconduct penalty by Matt Rempe. I know people are enjoying the idea of a giant dude playing throwback hockey, but it's time to start looking at this guy objectively. He doesn't control his body well with his hits or his fights. It's becoming a race to see who gets seriously hurt first, himself or an opponent. Following reply says, since I know I'll hear it, I'm not asking for hitting or fighting to be taken out of the game, but there's supposed to be a middle ground, and this is like the third or fourth dangerous hit he's given in 10 games. We're past the clumsy big kid stage. Time to reel him in for everyone's sake. There also was a reply from Barnaby Jones that I thought was hilarious. I don't think he's played even 60 minutes of hockey combined across this game so far. It seems disingenuous to say he should evolve at the rate of Bella Baxter. That is Oscar-winning performance, Bella Baxter right there, baby. Emma Stone with the best actress nod. Follow me on Letterboxd, by the way. It's in the top of the screen. I uh, need more followers on this platform. I love movies, by the way. So seeing that Bella Baxter tweet was hilarious. Hilarious. I actually cracked up at that. But Jeff Fayette says they didn't sign the dude off the street. He's played 100 plus pro games and 100 plus games of Major Junior. He's still adjusting, quote unquote, is an excuse for not producing, not being incapable of going three to four games without injuring someone with a bad hit. It's not the same thing. And there were a few extra replies like this one. Imagine how nice it was 20 years ago to just never hear an opinion like this. And of course, he's replying to the initial idea that Jeff Fayette tossed out there. But Jeff responds, on one hand, the recipients of dirty hits 20 years ago are living with all sorts of consequences today. On the other hand, you just had to see my tweet in your timeline. It's hard to say which one is worse. And at the same time, we did make a video already about Matt Rempe. It's on the channel. You could go out there. It's from a few days ago. Um, let's go out there and look at it. We have to get past all the trade deadline stuff. But essentially, we did make a video talking about how Matt Rempe kind of needs to be careful. Because after we had seen the results of his black eye and all the fighting and everything, here it is, concerning news with Matt Rempe the bloody nose and everything, like, this is the point where you start to recognize, okay, this guy's really, like, a bull out of control. And at some point, you know, you have to acknowledge the NHL is not a farm. It's not a zoo. You have to have rules and regulations for not only the game, but for the people. So, Matt Rempe, please go out there and be safe. Hold yourself accountable to putting yourself in safer spots. And that was the video from two weeks ago where we talked about that. But now it's like, hey, he's delivering even more bad hits. He's almost potentially hurting people now, considering what happened with this hit over here. I mean, we don't know the results of Siegenthaler for now, but like, this was a really ugly hit. And now we're talking about the idea that, yeah, Matt Rempe really just isn't that good of a player when it comes to being able to play the game safely. It's dangerous. It's hurting himself or hurting opponents. And it's been so little that he has spent in the NHL because he's always getting tossed out of games. He's always getting penalties. He's always getting majors. So I don't know, man. Like, is this perspective valid? Like, should he not evolve at the rate of a Bella Baxter and being able to adjust? Or is that a different conversation? Is this a player who, after his experience, should be able to deliver hits that aren't super dangerous and shouldn't be in a physical spot to completely torture the reputation he brings on the ice? So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Matt Rempe and his development in the NHL so far and whether or not you agree with the idea that he's becoming a problem. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Charles 99 and bye.